Welcome back everyone, Trenthal here, and today we're going to be discussing ELO, LP, and MMR. Additionally, we'll be taking a look at lolking scores and op.gg MMR, and discussing the true meaning behind those numbers. First off, let's talk about the origin and definitions of ELO, LP, and MMR. ELO is a reference to the ELO system, specifically to its inventor, RPAD ELO. It was made to rate chess players. Players are given a numerical rating that goes up and down based on their results. When it goes up, lose and it goes down. And you can even go up if you draw if your opponent was rated higher than you. After all, there are, there are draws in chess. The ranking system, or LP, is completely different. This is a StarCraft inspired system where players are broken up into tiers, bronze through diamond. Each tier is broken up into five divisions, and each division is worth 100 LP. Another way to look at this is that each division above bronze 5 is 100 LP. A bronze 3 player with 45 LP has 245 total LP, 100 for each bronze 4 and 5. A gold 2 player with 74 LP has a total of 1,374 LP, 500 for each bronze and silver, and 300 for gold 3, 4, and 5. But remember, neither of these scores show your actual MMR. That's still hidden, and neither lolking nor op.gg can see it. All you can do is catch a glimpse of it, and here's how. Go play a ranked game and check your LP gain or loss. If you're gaining about 18 to 20 LP per win, you're about where you should be. The system expects you to be about 50% chance to win the game. If you're gaining more than that per win, your MMR is higher than your rank, and you can expect to climb much faster. If you're gaining 28 or more per win, you may even skip a division when you reach 100 LP. If you're gaining less, this means that your MMR is very low, and you have a lot of winning to do to catch up. For example, if you're gaining 7 LP per win, you must have been in Division 5, 0 LP for quite a while, and beating players from a lower tier doesn't really impress your MMR very much, making it hard to climb out. Finally, I understand that your LP doesn't matter that much, but your matchmaking rating does. For example, it's possible to challenge your MMR but still be in bronze, it's easy, you just dodge out of silver promotional series over and over again, and you'll never ever leave bronze. Which I don't know why you do that, but you know, if you like bronze. So that concludes my video. I hope you guys all enjoyed and understand a bit more about your rank and your standings, and the numbers from third party websites, and a bit more. A special thanks to Mr. Black8, who helped me with this video. Remember, if you enjoyed my style of videos, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Take care.